Welcome back to the channel and I am here in Dun Allen, Florida, just experiencing the vibe. They have the most amazing area out here. Well, the woman, she's washing her hair. She's $415 and they have all of these wonderful outdoor plants. Although I'm looking for more or less indoor things these days. Gosh, isn't that nice? They have this really pretty fountain out back here. Wow, what is this? Sweetie's Cafe and Tea House. Oh, really? They're open. That's so cute. You can sit out here in the garden and have your tea. Oh, they have even more fountains this way. I was wanting a fountain for my back porch, but it was easy for me to dismiss the idea because I didn't know, am I really gonna have it on all the time? How often am I gonna be out there to enjoy it? What's the upkeep and the motor and everything? These look so cute. I wanna go inside. They have like, tea house things. I imagine they probably have coffee too. So cute with all little teacups and everything. Oh, and the chandeliers too. So cute. Well, we can come over here and sit in their little outdoor seating area. Oh wow, this is like, okay, like a jungle. Oh wow, they do afternoon tea as well. Oh neat. I got my coffee to go, it was $3.50. Right, so this particular one is only $20. These are way better prices than Lowe's and everything. And so I'm going to get this here for $20 for inside the house. And then also, like, look, $5 for this little guy. Those are nice. And these are all indoor plants. So I'm going to look around here. Like, even, look, $6 for those with the really nice foliage on them. $3.50. See, these are the prices I was looking for. These are really good. Yeah, these are nice. Arrowhead Vine, $5.50, was $9. Divine. Hmm. Oh, it says it's toxic for dogs, so. I picked out this plant. This is a really pretty one. I love the split leaves on it. So this one is technically toxic for pets, so in this case, you'd wanna have it up on a riser, and that's what I plan to do, so. I'm gonna get this one. Now this plant is $20, which is really amazing. At, again, at the uh, Home Depot or Lowe's, that's $40 at least, $40, $50. So I'm gonna get this one, very nice. And then two smaller ones that I'll show you. Here's my selections, $5. I think this one's like maybe five as well, six or something, I don't know. Yeah, six. I'm actually really excited because I received some stuff from Timu. They're doing a sponsorship on this video and I picked out a lot of really fun stuff and let me show you what I got. I do have a coupon code right here on the screen and for new app users, you'll get 50% off your order. So the first item I have here, oh my gosh. Okay, so this is like an outdoor light. That is gonna be really fun. It looks like a firework. I actually can't believe how cheap this was on Timu. If you look at my description, I have like all of the price and then links, so if you wanna take a look at them. But this is a massage gun and it has like the different tips and stuff that you can stick on there. If you want like this big ball, you can stick a ball on there. That's really vibrating. I'm really excited for this because it actually makes like a flame, like an LED flame, but it's a diffuser. You could do one hour, three hours, or five hours for the auto setting. I have to get my scissors. Timu is a free app. You can download it and shop on there. They have a ton of specials, like different, like you could spin a wheel, Aurora Moonlight. This is exciting to me. You can make the room look like a constellation. Look at this, it's like a little. A UFO or something. This is really neat too. This is an LED mirror clock. Timu is a really great place to shop if you're looking for gifts and things for people because they're really affordable on their prices. Look at this clock. It's like a mirror finish, by the way. And then look, it has this LED thing that shines on your wall. Satisfying. That is so pretty. Oh, this is a toilet bowl light. So like if you wake up in the middle of the night, you don't have to turn your light on. You could just have this and it automatically turns on for you. It detects movement. That's nice. These are really fun. They're actually silicone kitchen utensils. Oh, and they have a holder. Oh my gosh. I got them in the like ivory color, but that's silicone. And look at the beautiful wood handle. That is, this, look at that. This is quality. Oh my gosh. Again, check the description because I did put the prices in there so you can see just how much some of the stuff was. 
Oh yeah, I forgot. I needed a new cord, so I got this uh, phone cord. That was really cheap as well. And this is a good quality cord. Look at like how it's woven and everything. I always need cords. These are actually wireless earbuds, which I've never in my life owned them because I never wanted to pay like 100 or $200. You won't believe how much these things are. I think they were under $5. They have this little case and you can charge them right in the case. That is so fantastic. Oh, these are fun. They're like little glow in the dark people. I don't know, maybe I want some little aliens in my yard. Oh, and then I also got these pillows. Wow. I also got this broom. Oh, this is really nice. So I am really, really happy with everything that I got. And once again, here is the code on the screen to get 50% off for new users on the app. And you can also click the link in the description as well as see all of the prices if you'd like them yourself. Here we are in this really awesome house in Dunallen, Florida and I'll put the name of this place here on the screen. This whole room has tons of these little lamps in it. $34.50. This is a really cool area if you're ever in Dunallen, Florida, Central Florida. It's a nice tourist area. I've always been a fan of the stained glass, the leaded glass pieces with the slag glass in there. One fifty. That's beautiful. And little cats. Oh, and all this wonderful Turkish pottery. $18.50 for the spoon rest. That's nice. Now, if my memory is correct, upstairs here, they have more vintage stuff. Whereas downstairs, it's like crafts and different things like that. So up here, we might find some interesting vintage things. Like right in here, I'm noticing this nice little teapot for $50. Actually, I think it's more like a chocolate pot. Yeah, I think it's more like a chocolate pot considering the spout and the handle. They have $50 on it. They have this little relish guy here. He's $10. That's fun. Basically like a giant house and then every room is a different environment. So I've just been walking around upstairs here and a lot of it is vintage, but then a lot of new stuff is mixed in, sprinkled in as well. So you're kind of getting a mixture. Like in this little closet here, there's some vintage things like this paperweight for 15 there's this $10.99 for the pink glass bowl here's a little tumbler Victorian they have written but it's flashed on the color and you can see the lines see that I love this staircase it is so pretty all the wood isn't that wonderful Right, let's see what they've got in here. I have shopped in this store before and it's pretty good. So let's see if we can find anything interesting today. They have this orange drip. I don't see this one very much. And it's in the orange drip, the whole pottery, H-U-L-L. -L. $30 for that, that's beautiful. I love that. Think about for Halloween. It almost looks like a pumpkin. So this was this front room here and then we'll head back to another area. Oh, actually, this satin glass is really pretty. Very um, candy corn for the Halloween time. Looks like it's $22. Yeah, it's $22. It's really pretty, that slag, the swirled slag glass in the satin. This place I'm really excited for because they have a Christmas tree full of mm, kitchen things. 10 to 50% off. $50 for the set of, uh, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, these are nice too. The cuts are clear. We have a Gone with the Wind style lamp here for $1,100. Look at all the beautiful glass in the window. This is quite nice. I like this vase too. This is $55. The, the swirl has the green and everything. Also the cobalt and clear. It's a decanter with the little cordial glasses for $250. Oh, and 95 cents. These are always fun. These like ruby and clear. I want to say Duncan Miller. I can't remember for sure, but they're like little trinket dishes. 40 and 30. I've seen them more often than not in like the forest green color, though, instead of the ruby. They're really fun glasses. I love the texture on there. And these like little swoopity doos. $39, well, $40 for the set of six. That's nice. That would be, let's see, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. 
oh, what is that, like six or seven dollars a glass? That's not too bad at all. Nice little vase, clear, for 35. This is pattern glass, so it was molded, molded glass. Um, they have cut crystal written on here, which is incorrect, but it's beautiful. The way to know cut crystal versus well, molded, is you can see how rounded off everything sort of looks. Plus, you feel it. It's not, it's not sharp at all. The uh, that's one way to tell. I love the black amethyst cookie jar. I mean, <laughs> candy jar. Oh, it's a smoke glass. That's beautiful. For for 55, has a little finial on top. Such a really nice colorway for the platinite. These are hazel atlas, and they have the blue, like turquoise to black fade. It's so nice. How much do they have on that set? 55. I mean, it's 10 piece. It's really nice. The sugar, the creamer, and then some teacups and saucers. Really pretty. Mm. And that's early too. This is probably from the 40s or the 50s by Hazel Atlas. Oh my gosh, it's been so long since I've done a coffee shot. Mmm, this one's hazelnut. Stella, how are you doing over there? I know it. The sun's coming up. It's currently 7.22, and my parents are on the way to pick up this dog because he is going away. So after a very, very tough decision, I decided to uh, send Reese back to where he once came, to the farm. I mean, it was a very, very tough decision, and it's actually one that crossed my mind quickly after I picked him up. Uh, I was like, oh my gosh, do I really want a dog? Like, it all rushed back to me, everything that that entailed, all of the responsibility and everything. And then, of course, as I've sort of been bringing him into the fold here with Stella and everything, she's never quite accepted it. She's really been quite a pain about everything. Barks, 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 barks. He wants to nip at her tail. She's old. She had, she's decrepit. She has arthritis in her ankles. And Reese is very much a puppy. And you know, there's, they're two different situations. Also, so that's one thing. And by the way, that's temporary. You can get over that over time. Another thing being, what's my lifestyle these days? You know, whenever I had gotten Stella originally in 2012, I was, I just bought my first house. I was settling down. I was like, I'm gonna go to work nine to five, Monday through Friday, blah, 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 take my briefcase to work. No, you know the idea. So it was very much this leave it to beaver mentality maybe. Nowadays, I don't really need, it. no, don't eat that leaf. I'll show you those leaves in a little bit though. Reese. So nowadays, I'm not really like, Here's the thing. So somebody brought up to my attention, oh, you know, when Stella goes, you won't, you'll need another dog. And I'm like, oh, you're right, I will. I didn't even stop to think, do I want another dog? I just thought in terms of like logically, oh yeah, if one dog goes, I must have another waiting in the wings. I didn't stop to think about all of that it entails, what kind of lifestyle am I going to be living? You know. It's very difficult because here in Florida, you know, I want to be able to go out and do things, go on like little trips, and sometimes those are two, three, four hours away. Having a dog just adds one more complexion to the mix, complexion? One more complexity to the mix and would require having someone else come in, dealing with him. So yeah, it was very difficult to, you know, make this decision and I, that's why it has taken so long because I keep going back and forth. I just got a little Walmart delivery I'm really happy about. So I got strawberries, grapes, eggs. This is fun because it's like a universal coffee pod thing. So that's going to be exciting. I can start using like regular ground coffee in there. So I got that. Oh, my bars that I like every day. Those, uh, these little clementine things, some, uh, what are these? Bananas. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just a little bit of stuff. And I'm going to keep cleaning because I took a break. I was sweeping all of the, you know, the stuff because now that Reese is gone, he did leave. Now that he's gone, I can clean. So I'm sweeping everything and then I'm going to use the, hi Stella. And then I'm going to use this mop here, the steam mop and like clean really well. 
and that's just out here. Then I gotta do the bathrooms and the bedroom, which is awful because he's been peeing on this rug. That's a whole nother thing. I'm gonna try to figure out this rug situation. Both rugs, really. Last night I painted the third coat, the third and final coat on this ca cabinet. So then I can put the, oh, and the other cabinet in the other bathroom so I could put the knobs back on. Also, I don't know if I've ever shown these. So I showed them on the couch when they weren't on the wall, but yeah, now they're on the wall. So that's what they look like, the, the new towel holder, but I've got to paint. So I've got to paint like everything kind of white and then it's gonna look nice. And then I'll show you like a, a better view of everything. Well, I just got done doing some invoicing today and it is Saturday. Uh, took a nap earlier. I went to the flea market this morning, which kind of knocked me out for some reason. Because like, well, I mean, I don't know. It's like an hour to drive there. Then was walking around for approximately two hours or so. Then an hour drive back. And then, yeah, I came here, came back to the house, had a little nap. And then sent my invoices kind of later than usual, but got that done. So now I'm just gonna like tidy up and stuff. Um, it's been very nice not having Reese here. I know it's like, I was very split about it initially, especially whenever he's like right in front of me and I'm just like looking at his little face, but it wasn't so responsible considering my lifestyle and the amount of stress that he was already introducing. And so it was, it was very good that I decided to do that. I used the steamer and it's so nice because you know he's peeing everywhere. I used that yesterday and then the vacuum. This rug needs to be cleaned because yeah, it's not great. He would pee on it and then I would try to clean it up, but you know, there's something about dog urine that just lingers. So it's not bad unless you're on the ground or unless you sit down and sort of just the airflow comes up at you. So that's very annoying. So what I'm gonna probably do at some point is take these out on the driveway and like spray them down with the hose and spray cleaner on them and do like the whole nine yards <laughs> or uh, get rid of them and start over. So we'll see. I have done the route where I, I cleaned them back in the other house and uh, I don't. I guess I just didn't dry it fast enough because it was stiff when it came back in and then it smelled kind of like musty, like wet, musty. But I squeegeed the other one out really well and did everything I thought I could do. I squeegeed it and then, not this one, you know, the other one. And then I used like the, uh, what do you call it? The, wa the sucky water thing that gets water up out of basements and stuff if you have a problem. The shop vac. I used the shop vac. I did all that. I, it was outside. I don't know. I did what I could do. Gosh, this kitchen's a mess. But you know what? I think that's common in like anybody's house. I, maybe there's some of you out there that are like, no, I put things away after every single thing that I do. I don't live like that. I try, but I can't. So I got to put these up. Well, these are not, tech I did not technically buy these, but they're in this house. And so it's like, okay, let's put them back away. I, I blame I blame I blame somebody else. Okay, and look at me. I'm trying to clean already. Batteries. Oh, I bought these batteries because, well, I needed them. I have like all the stuff that I got recently, and I need to take it in the other room and put it on the shelf. Actually, a lot of it was purchased this morning, so I need to go put it away. But there are these uh, plushes, these things that I need to. I need to test out and see if they work. I picked this licorice up this morning at the flea market too. I can't believe I bought all that, but the guy was convincing. He said, oh, three bags for $15. I said, well, of course, of course I'll do that. So there's like cinnamon, there's like a red raspberry, and then like the traditional cherry. Mm. I'm gonna put this away too. It helps if I don't see it. You know how that is? What a mess. What is all this stuff? Ugh. Up here. There you go. Uh, yeah, I need to organize my life because this looks like shh. Boop. Hey, I'm back sitting in my talk show area. I like to think of it like a talk show because it reminds me of that. So it's very nice and cluttered. That's okay. I'm figuring it out. It's all an evolution. I'll get it. But 
no, the, I've done a lot of cleaning here and I feel very accomplished with it because it smells very nice. It, there's no real smell or anything. But yes, with that, I will wrap up this video. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.